Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 12 to 19. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch level of ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I find the calling of the twelve apostles very hopeful and encouraging, and not for the reasons that one might think. I find it reassuring because of how unremarkable and prone to making mistakes the twelve are. Basically, they are similar to us in many ways. So it was not the sole merits of the apostles that made them holy. Rather, through their encounter and subsequent decision to follow Christ, despite their shortcomings. What holds substantial value in the kingdom of God is one's willingness to make wrongs right and to constantly strive to get back up after falling down. So in short, the apostles were not perfect. They were human, just like you and I. The reassuring part of it all were their openness to be changed to the gospel and encounter with Christ. With that, anything is possible with God. And this narrative and opportunity continues on to our time and beyond until Christ comes again. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.